Hey kids, it's time for books. So cuddle up to mum or dad and let's rock and read. Today, I'll be reading you Bluey Camping. Stay tuned to the very end to see if Bluey and her friend can catch this wild pig together. Let's read. The healers are on a camping trip. Bluey wants to build a stick house with Bingo. But mum has other plans. Bingo's coming with me, mum says. She hasn't had a bath in three days. So off Bluey goes to the creek, alone. As Bluey searches for sticks, she hears a voice. Bonjour. Hi, my name's Bluey. Salut, Bluey. Jean-Luc. Bluey doesn't understand what Jean-Luc is saying, but that doesn't stop them building a stick house together. Oh, c'est très beau. Now we need some food to eat, says Bluey. We can plant this seed like farmers. This will grow into a big tree with fruit on it. But it might take a while, she adds, and we need something to eat now. Suddenly, they hear a howl coming through the forest. Hide, shouts Bluey. Snuff, snuffle, snort. It's a wild pig, Bluey says. Sangla, says Jean-Luc. Bluey and Jean-Luc make a plan to capture the wild pig. But he escapes. Never mind. Bluey, dinner, mum calls. Then Jean-Luc's dad calls to him. Jean-Luc, dinner. See you tomorrow, Bluey says. They both run off to their families. The next morning, Bluey and Jean-Luc are ready to play. Jean-Luc, bonjour. Hmm, no fruit tree yet. We need a better plan to catch that wild pig or we will have no food for the winter. I've got an idea, Louis tells Jean-Luc. My dad taught me how to do this. Hey kids, I hope you're enjoying the book so far. I want to take a quick moment to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you can stay updated and never miss out on our videos. It's free and it helps out a ton. Bluey scares wild pig. Wild pig runs away. Jean-Luc jumps out. Hooray! They wait until they hear the wild pig roar. And then... Yah! It's time to head back to camp for the night. Goodbye Jean-Luc, says Bluey happily. See you tomorrow. Non Bluey, John Luke calls. Au revoir. The next morning, Bluey discovers that the seed they planted is growing into a little tree. Jean Luc, come quickly. Jean Luc. Jean Luc? But she can't see Jean Luc anywhere. Not at his campsite or at their stick house. Jean Luc. Bluey runs back to Mum, who tells her that Jean-Luc must have left. His holiday is over. What? says Bluey. You mean they're gone? I'm afraid so, sweetheart. That night, while Bingo has a bush wee, Bluey asks Mum why Jean-Luc had to leave. Sometimes special people come into our lives. Stay for a bit, and then they have to go, says Mum. But that's sad, says Bluey. It is, says Mum. But the bit where they were here was happy, wasn't it? Yeah, we caught a wild pig together, Bluey says. Maybe that makes it all worth it, says Mum. Will I ever see him again? asks Bluey. Well... You never know, says Mum. Years later, 
after the tree had fully grown. Bluey and Jean-Luc met again. The world's a magical place. Hello, Bluey. This one, she hasn't had a bath in three days. I like stinking. Goodbye, sweet stinky cook. Oh, we'll have to make a house out of sticks. Bonjour. Hi. Tu veux jouer avec moi? Huh? Thank you so much for joining me today tonight. I hope you have a great night. And if you'd like to see my next book, remind mum and dad to subscribe. See you next time.